What's up guys? Burns here. I think we fixed it. We're running around the same uh, the same amps and wind speeds that it would normally start going. It's not doing it now. So this way now you can kind of see. What my peak was. I reset this meter. I disconnected all of my solar. There are no more solar panels connected up to this system. It is all wind. The solar panels are going on my trailer. They're the perfect dimensions as far as length, width, and now thickness don't matter, but length, width, it's perfect. 40 inches exactly more. Yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're 40 inches tall. From the bottom of the cell to the from the bottom of the panel to the top of the panel, I believe they're 26.4 inches wide, left to right. There we go. Hear how nice and quiet that is. If you watch any of my previous videos, you will hear it going. You know, making that rattling noise. I think we. Uh, I think we solved that problem. The PMA being loose on that mount was what the noise was, but the blades being out of balance was is what was causing the noise, causing it to vibrate like it was. But it's uh, it's good now, and you can see there my uh, amp peak 45.31 amps at 693 watts. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It seems to be a lot more steady now and more stable as far as power goes now because of the it's not vibrating like a son of a bitch. It's running nice and smooth. You can see how the numbers are a lot more consistent. Which is a good thing. Well the wind's being a little more consistent probably will help. But you can see, I mean it's sunny out there. That tree is budding. Most of the trees are budding. Let's see here. Yeah, it's... Well, hard to tell with that one here. I mean, you can see the size of some of these clouds and they're hauling ass. They are moving and grooving today. But the only noises that are coming from the wind and the turbine now are Cummins from the PMA, which is normal. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Sometimes this doesn't want to focus. There we go. So yeah. That's uh, that's basically it guys. I mean we'll sit here and watch this for a minute. Look at that, 25, well, 24 and change. But see how much more steady that is now? It is very important to balance your shit. Balance it. Now, you don't have to go to the extreme measures I went to. I bought an $80 blade balancing set up here in order to do it. But I'm also going to be using it for its intended purpose for balancing lawnmower blades. You don't have to buy one of those. I mean, sure, it'll give you a little bit more of an accurate result, but you don't necessarily need to get one of them. I couldn't pass it up. I knew I was going to need it for other things, other things anyway. So it's it's not like it was uh, it wasn't a wasted purchase. I know I'm going to definitely use it for other stuff. So. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much it. Forty-five point three one six ninety-three point three watts at thirteen point seven volts. So I got a couple other batteries I got to hook up here and get charged. This battery here is. Oh, look at that! You can see my truck. It's focusing on the outside. That's why I got to sit at an angle here. See, and I also have this meter here. I'm gonna set up. I put some 5 ring terminal 
ring terminals on both ends. Makes it nice for hooking up to batteries. Most batteries use 5 16 Some of them use 3 8 Some of the larger batteries use 3 8 terminals. Uh, the big, um, big, big like tractor trailer batteries. They, right? Yeah, they use the 3 8 Most of the golf cart batteries out there use the 5 16 terminals with either half inch or 9 16 stainless steel nuts. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. We'll come back out later. We're under a wind advisory for 20 to 30 mile per hour winds with 50 mile an hour plus gusts. So we'll come back out a little later tonight and see what the what kind of power we're getting. And hopefully we won't set this thing on fire. But I'm not activating the brake. I have more batteries. I'll put more of a load on the system. I have six gel batteries. Oh, check these out. I got myself six of these. There's only five right here. One of them right now is actually in my trailer. And I have it hooked up to like a little 400 watt inverter just to run my lights. A modified sine wave piece of crap Black & Decker inverter. I don't like modified sine wave. I use, I run sensitive electronics with inverters and I have to have pure, pure sine wave or at least as pure as I can get with those uh, inverters um, so yeah that's, uh, that's basically it guys that's these batteries here are gonna go in the trailer hooked up in 48 volt connections I'm only gonna use four of them and the other two are gonna be uh, maybe for something in here I don't know yet I haven't quite figured it out but I have six of them got them dirt cheap they're only a year old and they're gel batteries. Here, I'll show you the show you the numbers on them here so you can kind of check them out. No, that was peeled off here. Out of the way. Get out of the way! There you go. Yeah, so you can go and check out those. Discover dash green or discover dash energy.com. Nice batteries. We just had a wind gust of, let's see here, 38 miles per hour. So let's go see what we got out on the turbine. Okay. <clears throat> Let's let it cycle through. I don't know if that 38 mile per hour was just now or if that was from earlier. Well, let's see what we got. 49.49 at 770.8 watt hour, watt peak. Nice. Okay. If that's the kind of wind that we're in for for the rest of the day, we're going to have some pretty interesting watt and amp peaks. I don't know if you can hear that. That is the wind howling. I'd like to see what our amp peak is together. Let's get this damn thing to focus. Holy shit. Is that a 62 amp peak? Sure was. 1,015 watts. Holy Jesus Cripes. Wowza. That's pretty impressive. We had a 30, I think it was a 38 mile an hour gust again, uh, probably a few hours ago, and I think that's what that was from. I wasn't home. Um, so it was pretty impressive. Right now we have winds coming out of the west northwest so it's pretty shitty wind for the turbine it's not really all that great and you know it's like 15 mile an hour right now and you can see it's not doing diddly shit my butter zone for wind is like west southwest all the way around to east southeast so the whole entire southern exposure is my butter zone 
any other direction, I don't really get much juice, which is fine. You know, I don't really get winds that much out of the any other direction other than the south, other than southern exposure. I mean, you know, during the winter months, it'll come out of the north, east, northeast, you know, northwest, northwest, west, northwest. And I really don't get a lot of production from winds out of that direction, but nonetheless, I still get production. And I mean, the winds right now, they're, <laughs> they're howling out there. I mean, they're like around 30 mile an hour pretty consistently which is pretty impressive. It's just not doing me any good the way my turbine's set up. But, you know, I'm aware of that. I expect that, so it's nothing to get pissed off about. It's not the turbine's fault. It's just, you know, it's the only place I could install the turbine. But every now and then we get a pretty shallow gust of wind where it just takes it. And it's pretty, uh, <laughs> it takes it pretty good too. I mean, wow, 62 amps. That's pretty cool. And the fucking power went out, so I don't know. I can't even show you the we the wind and or the wind gusts or anything because the data's lost off of that because I don't have batteries in my data or my Davis. I have to get some uh, otherwise I'd have it out here with me without losing data, but that's the way it is. All right. So yeah, that's the latest. It's uh, probably close to 9, 9.30 at night, Eastern. And that wind is howling. And the turbine is not making a noise other than the normal resonances that it makes when it's on the tower because, you know, it is a PMA and it does have a very minute cog. And it causes a little bit of vibrations, but, you know, it's nothing that... <laughs> It's not much louder than the Windy Nation was. The Windy Nation had a little bit of a vibration, too. But, you know, at least it's not annoying loud. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty damn impressive, I think. This is gonna be going on all night long like this. So... I've increased my dump load size... to three resistors one two three and then this one's the hottest right here not really hot right now because it's not dumping quite a bit this one's not really only warm I can touch it this one here we go I don't know if you guys can hear that wind but holy shit right, you see what I mean like it's gusting really strong out there but it's not it's not hitting the turbine because it's going right up and over it for the most part the house is in the way Maybe I should knock the house down. Ha. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.